good morning in this class we will see design of axially loaded column design the reinforcement for a short axially loaded square column of size 400 mm by 400 mm to support a load of 1000 kN use m20 concrete and fe4 and 5 steel the first step in this problem first write down the given data write down the given data the first what they have given the column size column size 400 mm by 400 mm and the load they have given it is denoted by capital p that is 1000 kN that is axial load and m20 concrete and fe4 and 5 they have given that is the characteristic strength of the concrete that is fck value it is 20 newton per mm square and characteristic strength of the steel that is fy 4 on 5 newton per mm square okay this is the given data in the problem next you need to calculate that is the ultimate load ultimate load that is pu okay you need to multiply that is the load value by partial factor of safety that is 1.5 multiplied by p that is 1.5 into 1000 that is pu will be equal to 1500 kilo newton this is what your ultimate load next from page number 42 clause 25.4 of is 456 2000 code specification the minimum eccentricity for the column you need to provide it as 20 mm i will show you see that is page number 42 of clause 25.4 minimum eccentricity all the columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity equal to the unsupported length of the column by 500 plus lateral dimension by 30 subject to a minimum of 20 mm so as per the codal provision minimum eccentricity for the design of column actually loaded column you need to provide it is what 20 mm now from page 71 clause 39.3 of is 456 is 456 the ultimate load equation it is given by 0.4 fck ac plus 0.67 fy asc okay it is in code is 456 we know to calculate that is the area of steel in the for the column that is the compression reinforcement for the column it is in the page number 71 this equation you will be using in order to use this equation it has to satisfy the criteria as per is 456 this equation will be applicable one when minimum eccentricity minimum eccentricity is what 20 mm that is e minimum okay should not be greater than 0.05 times of lateral dimension lateral dimension or e minimum should be less than 0.05 times of lateral dimension see that is page number 71 clause 39.3 short axially loaded members in compression the members shall be designed by considering the assumptions given and the minimum eccentricity the minimum eccentricity you need to provide it as 20 mm when the minimum eccentricity as per 25.4 should not exceed 0.05 times the lateral dimension then this equation you are going to use it 
okay when minimum eccentricity is less than 0 0.05 times of the lateral dimension okay this equation you are using in order to calculate what the area of steel in the compression zone that is for the column okay pu is what axial load on the member fck is characteristic compressive strength of the concrete ac is area of the concrete fi is what characteristic strength of the compression reinforcement and ac is what area of longitudinal reinforcement for the column your aim is to calculate this reinforcement that is asc value in order to calculate that you will be using this equation if you are using this equation it is satisfy it should satisfy the condition that is what e minimum should be less than 0 0.05 times the lateral dimension okay substituted e minimum is what 20 mm okay that is what e minimum should not be greater than 0 0.05 times of lateral dimension lateral dimension is what it is a square column See here the cross sectional dimension they have given 400 by 400 mm the lateral dimension is what take it as 400 mm calculate this value 0 0.05 multiplied by 400 okay that is what 20 mm okay it should not be greater than okay that is 20 mm okay it should not be greater than 20 mm or it may be equal to 20 mm so therefore therefore e minimum okay will be equal to 20 mm that will be equal to what 0 0.05 times of lateral dimension that is 20 mm okay the e minimum should be less than or equal to 0 0.05 times of the lateral dimension this equation you can also write it as e minimum should be less than or equal to 0 0.05 times of lateral dimension lateral dimension okay both are same it is okay that is e minimum is 20 mm that is what equal to 0 0.05 times of lateral dimension therefore therefore hence hence okay hence next i will rewrite that pu equation pu equal to 0.4 fck ac plus 0.67 fy asc okay substitute the value in this equation pu is 1500 substitute in newton mm 1500 into 10 to the power of 3 that will be equal to 0.4 fck value it is 20 area of concrete it is given by gross area minus area of compression steel okay if you subtract it then you will get it area of the concrete plus 0 0.67 fy it is 4 and 5 multiplied by asc value okay then ag is what that is the gross area gross area in the sense gross area of the column that is 1 1500 into 10 to the power of 3 0.4 into 20 into ag is what gross area it is 400 by 400 minus asc value plus 0.67 into 415 into asc value okay upon simplification you will get that is the ASC value as 814.66 mm square. This is what area of the steel. Okay. Next you need to check it out for minimum AST. As per the codal recommendation. Okay. The minimum steel you need to provide for the design of the column it is 0.8 percentage that is the minimum steel maximum of 6 percentage as per the codal recommendation okay now ast sorry asc minimum will be equal to 0.8 times of gross area gross area okay substitute the value now 0.8 divided by 100 
gross area it is a square column b into d value that is 0.8 divided by 100 into the b value it is 400 multiplied by 400 then upon simplification you will get it as 1280 mm square compare ast minimum with the calculated ast as per the codal provision minimum ast you need to provide it is 1280 mm square but the calculated ast is less than that value so you need to adopt ast minimum as your ASC. So therefore, therefore, ASC is less than ASC minimum. So therefore, provide provide ASC equals to ASC minimum that will be equal to 1 to 80 mm square. This is what your ASC. Next you need to provide, provide 20 mm dia bars, 20 mm dia bars, calculate small ASC that is pi into 20 square divided by 4, you will get it as 314.16 mm square. Okay, once you calculate the ASC, go for number of bars number of bars that will be equal to capital ASC divided by small ASC capital ASC is 1280 divided by small ASC is 314.16 you will get it as four numbers okay so therefore providing therefore providing 20 mm dia bars 20 mm dia bars providing that is 4 bars of 20 mm dia okay providing 4 bars of 20 mm dia longitudinal reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement okay longitudinal reinforcement okay Next is what? Design of lateral ties. Next step. Design of lateral ties. Design of lateral ties. From page number 49 of IS 456. From page number 49 of IS 456. That is from the clause 25.5.3.2 that is C, pitch and dia of the lateral ties. Okay, the first case is what diameter. The diameter of the lateral ties should not be less than one fourth of dia of the largest longitudinal bar. Okay, in order to decide that is the diameter of the lateral ties, that dia should not be less than one by fourth of dia of longitudinal reinforcement. Similarly, in order to calculate that is the spacing of the lateral ties, the pitch, okay, is same, that is the spacing. It should be least of these three following. The first one is what? Least lateral dimension of the compression member and the 16 times the day of the longitudinal reinforcement and the third one it is what? 300 mm. The spacing of the lateral ties should be the least of this three value. Okay, that is diameter should be greater than 1 by 4 times of the dia of the longitudinal reinforcement. Dia of the longitudinal reinforcement assumed it is 20, you will get it as 5 mm. So, in order to choose that is the dia of the lateral ties, the dia should be greater than this 5 mm. Greater than this 5 mm, the dia I am going to assume it as 6 mm. So, therefore, using... 6 mm dia lateral ties lateral ties then go for spacing of lateral ties spacing same it is from the page number 49 the spacing should be least of the following least of the following the first one is what least lateral dimension 
least lateral dimension in the problem given problem it is square column the least dimension it is 400 okay second one is what 16 times of dia of the longitudinal reinforcement dia i am going to represent it by 5 16 into 20 you have taken that is the dia of the longitudinal reinforcement you will get it as 320 mm and the third one it is 300 mm okay the spacing should be least of these three value least value it is 300 mm so therefore provide provide 6 mm dia bars 6 mm dia bars at 300 mm center to center as lateral ties as lateral ties next is what reinforcement details next step reinforcement details reinforcement details see this is the reinforcement details okay provide the main bars dia that is 4 bars of 20 mm dia and the lateral ties of 6 mm dia at 300 mm center to center this is what your longitudinal section that is what lateral ties 6 mm dia at 300 mm center to center and the longitudinal reinforcement 4 bars of 20 mm dia thank you